Hey, this is Charles from Beyond Tools, and we're here with our Tough Cut Cobalt 25 Edge Bander. So, uh, basic operation of this machine is we first turn it on and off at the end of and start of each day by this isolator switch here. We turn that on. Also, need to make sure that we have our air connected, um, and we need at least six bar pressure. So, it's important if that's not connected, it will come up with an alarm on the screen. So, this is our touch screen display here. So it's quite basic. We've got our working temperature, which is the temperature that our glue pot is gonna stay at. You can change that by touching it. So we can change it, the temperature. Around 180, it does depend on the glues, but around 180 is good temperature. Our current temperature is what the glue pot is at the moment. So it's almost at our 180 threshold. And our weight temperature is this one here. So uh, if you don't use the machine for a period of time, you can, uh, put the weight temperature on, it'll drop the temperature down to 100 to maintain it and not boil the glue and burn it. And then when you're ready to use it, then it doesn't take as long to heat up. You can also change that if you want to a different value. But around 100 degrees is a, a good temperature, so it's not burning the glue. So at the bottom, we've got start heating. So currently that's on. That means that there is uh, heat, the power to the elements to heat up the glue pot. And you can see we've got a temperature okay light is lit up telling us that we're at temperature if we want to turn the glue pot off hit stop heating and now it won't heat up anymore and it'll just start to drop the temperature slowly or you've also got working temp so working temp means it'll heat up to 180 or if we hit weight temp it'll heat it'll drop the temperature down and maintain the 100 temp 100 degrees temperature so when we want to operate we're going to run it at work temp like this uh, we've got Four buttons along the bottom here. Advanced is our feed track, end, trim, end trimmers. Profiler is our top and bottom trimming and polisher is our buffs at the end. Uh, currently they're all off, but when they are on, you can see it lights up. And now the track is running. You can see that moving. If it's not at temperature, it won't run uh, until it gets close to that set temperature, about 10 degrees from there. Uh, we've got an emergency stop button here. So if we push that, you can see on the screen, it tells us stop and it's telling us that we're in an alarm and you can see down the bottom here, scrolling across, it'll tell you what that emergency currently is. Uh, if you disconnect your air, it'll do the same thing. I can show you that. So air's being disconnected and you can see it says insufficient compressed air and it'll keep doing that until we plug the air back in. and then that'll disappear and clear the alarm. Um, you can also push this reset button to clear the alarm. If it doesn't clear, then you still have that active alarm. We've also got up the top here settings. Don't need to adjust these. This is timing of the adjustments in the machine, the guillotines and that, but they're uh, set from the factory and don't need to adjust those. Okay, um, so here we've got our hand wheel changing for your different thickness boards. So currently we're using 16 millimeter board but you can change that up or down to whatever you like. Now, when you're going up to a different thickness, you can go straight up to it, but whenever you're coming down, always go past the size and then back up to it. That will just reduce any slop in the thread and give you a positive reading. We've got the extension on the front here. So for your larger panels, you can pull that out or push that in depending on uh, the size of the panel that you are running. Okay, so feeding your edge tape, feed it through the little hole here, and then through this little roller down here. You may need to lift this up, and then it will go in between the two rollers down here. You can kind of see where it's feeding. Yep. And we want to start it at the guillotine here where it cuts is where we want the front of the edge. Then we lower this edge strip guide down and just lift up about one mil. And same with this one here. We screw it down till it's touching the tape and the tape's tight. And then back it off about one turn so the tape moves through nice and smoothly. If the tape doesn't move through smoothly, it won't feed each piece through uh, ready to accept the next panel. Um, if it's too 
tight, yeah, so if it's too tight, it won't feed through. If it's too loose, the edging will ride up and won't uh, feed onto the panel properly. Okay, so we start that, yeah, as I said, at the guillotine there. This is our glue pot here. So to put in glue, we just pour it straight into the pot here. Pot is Teflon coated, so don't use anything sharp in there, otherwise you will scratch the coating. And that helps to prevent the glue from sticking. Now, when you want to put a bit more glue in, basically just pour your glue in as pellets. We don't need much at the moment because they're pretty good. And then just let that melt. Um, you can, once the glue's melted, you can keep running and, you, and then that'll mix with the old glue that's in the machine. Keep it a nice consistency, stop it from burning. You don't want to fill it up more than what this gap is down here. So you need that little gap down the bottom. That will allow the glue pot to breathe. There's two chambers, one here and one there. Allow the glue to breathe and um, prevent it from burning and stay a lot cleaner. To adjust how much glue flow is on the machine is adjusted by here. So you loosen off this nut, adjust the bolt, and then that will turn the lever left or right, putting on more glue. If you go this way, less glue back the other way. So we've got our end saws here, front and back end saw, top trimming, bottom trimming, top radius scraper, bottom radius scraper, and our buffing unit here. So changing from different thickness uh, edge tapes, basically all we do is, so if you're going from one mil to two mil, currently we've got it set for one mil. So we've got it on about 1.3 to give a slight radius. We loosen off this knob, and then you can adjust that up. So say for two mil, we go to two mil edge tape and then lock it off. And do the same on the bottom here. Loosen that and adjust that one there. So basically the cutter is shaped like this, top and then the bottom. So all we're doing is if we want to uh, cut two mil, we pull the cutter, uh, so we push the cutter in to cut more on the radius. And then on one mil, we pull it back to cut more on the arras there. And that's all we're doing here. So we'll set it back to one. Now, when you are going back down, like your pressure beam, go past it and then come back up to your size. Again, that'll give you a more positive reading uh, and be a lot more accurate for yourself. Um, height adjustments on how close it cuts to the panel can be adjusted by this knob here. So we loosen off this 13 mil nut and adjust this up or down. That will move the tracer. And you can see the little picture which shows you which way to go. That'll make it cut closer into the panel or further away from the panel. And then remember to lock that nut up. And on the bottom, it's exactly the same, just the opposite way around. And you can see that here. Lock nut and then adjustment. Okay, scrapers. Um, basically to disengage them, if you want to take them off completely, loosen off this kip lever, pull them right back, tighten that up. That will disengage them and eliminate them so it won't cut. So then you can leave a little bit extra on if you need to. Um, if you want to re-engage them, just make sure this is clean here. Push that in till it hits the end. Same here. And they're engaged, ready to go. Um, so that's basically it. We'll run a piece through now. When you finish, just put the buttons, 
and that'll turn everything off. Uh, at the end of the day, when you finish doing your job, turn it off and then just switch it off at the main isolator down here. And that's it, you're done. is our Cobalt 25 edge bander, uh, nice simple easy adjustments and uh, we'll see you next time, thanks.